What's up guys, it's Dwayne from mountainbuck.com where we go from backyard to backwoods. And guys, today I'm hooking you up with my top seven gifts for hunters. And these items cover a wide array of hunting needs and they vary in price from anywhere from around $10 to just over $100. So we have a wide range of uses and prices here today. So you might wanna check out one or many or all of these items for that hunter in your life. Uh, maybe you're the hunter and you want to buy some for yourself. That's cool too. So all the items we talk about will be in the description below. If you guys could hook me up and hit subscribe, I would really appreciate it. All right, so let's get started. So the first item, and these aren't in any particular order, but the first item we have here is the Code Blue Decode Scent Elimination System. This system here is gonna cover all of your scent requirements to eliminate scent before you get out in the field, okay? So we have a nice, range of products here, everything from field spray, scent eliminator for field spray, of course. <clears throat> we have the body wash and shampoo. Uh, we also have some dryer sheets here and the scent elimination laundry detergent. And they also sell a bigger bottle of this as well. And also included in here, it keeps going, just keeps going, is our antiperspirant deodorant here. Um, the whole kit is a deodorant, let's be honest. And of course we have this little bonus here, the wind direction indicator, which they threw in as well, which is a nice little bonus. But each one of these items is gonna help you stay scent free while you're out there hunting. And guys, when you're out there, you're sweating. If you're like me, you walk, you hike into your area, you get sweaty, your base layer stuff gets sweaty. You wanna wash it and eliminate those human odors right out of there, right? So that's where this stuff comes in. And I don't know if you're like me, but you might take a week off hunting during the rut and you just get in a different zone. So you gotta remember to shower uh, with this stuff and put on your antiperspirant here and uh, just make sure you're smelling clean and fresh and don't give off any human odors for deer or your family, right? So this is my first item. And I understand that Code Blue and this Decode system, these products are gonna be available, but this Pro Hunter kit may not be available, but all of these individual items are gonna be on Amazon. I put the links in the description below. So you're all set there. So you can buy them individually and create your own little bundle for the gift uh, for your hunter or yourself, bundle them together as you see fit, or you know just singularly buy them. So that's our first item. Code Blue was my favorite scent company. Speaking of scents, I've been using this system here and I'm really excited about it. I've been using this all season long. This is the WinScent 2.0 scent vapor dispersal system. And this is like next level stuff, guys, right? So this unit here, uh, you charge it. It's a rechargeable battery, lasts up to 40 hours. That's like a full work week of hunting right there. Uh, you have these cartridges, which you screw in, and they have a variety of scents, anything from cover scents to attracted scents, and they just hooked up with Code Blue, so they have Code Blue scents, which I'm definitely gonna purchase here soon. But each one of these little scent cartridges are gonna last 40 hours as well. And let me just say, I used another one of these cartridges for a long time, and on the website it says 40 hours, but I'm telling you, it, lost, it lasted a lot longer than that. So. You buy these scent cartridges, you put them in here, you fire this thing on, you have a uh, micro USB cable in the back, which you could charge this unit in your truck or at your house or wherever. You long press, you turn it on. It comes with a little keychain here, which you have three settings, all right? So you have the one minute interval, which is gonna pump this scent vapor out every minute, the three minute interval, and pause. So if you have a buck coming in or a deer coming in, a doe or something, and you don't want to spook them with the scent, you hit the pause button, you have it in your pocket, you pause it, and you just wait, and then you're good to go. But you can fire it back up. So the one minute interval here, you can see that vaporized scent coming out of there. And that scent, vaporized scent travels much further and it hangs in the wind much longer. That's gonna travel and carry up to 300 yards away which is just perfect. I really like this concept. Um, this is a game changer for me. I bought it, I've been using it all season, and I really like it. I actually pulled a nice little eight point buck, uh, came in on a hot doe following her, and this Winsend 2.0 pulled him right off her trail, brought him right around under my stand, and uh, that was kind of neat to see. So I'm really liking this product. You got the keychain, 40 hour charge in the rechargeable battery, 40 hours, I think it's more than 40 hours on each cartridge. 
and uh, the unit is waterproof. Also, um, the bottom here is magnetic. So if you're in a metal stand, you can stick it on the metal stand if you want. You could also put a tripod on here. This has a universal hole right in here for any tripod. So they do sell a tripod, Wincent does, but anything you have, if you have one at your house or just like a random little one like this, whatever, you could screw it on there. I got this scent vapor going everywhere on here, right? I'm gonna shut this off. So you can screw on whatever uh, tripod you have. They also sell a monopod, but any one you have and stand it up just like that. So that is the Wincent 2.0 and I really like this. Uh, I've used it every single time I've went out and I will continue to use it because I think it's a great product. Also, this isn't on the list guys, but I just love these shirts, the fast food with the buck sign on them. I think they're hilarious. So I, uh, I put some uh, links in the description below to search shirts similar to this, not on the list, but still this, this is a hilarious shirt. I love it, right? So the next item I'm gonna talk about right here it gets cold when you're out there hunting. I mentioned before, you hike into your area, you're sweating, and then you sit there for like hours at a time and then you just freeze, right? So these temperatures in the low 30s and 20s and maybe even the teens, you're gonna be out there for hours. And if you're like me, your feet get really cold and specifically my toes get really cold. So this season I picked up the Snow Deer heated rechargeable socks uh, I got them in a large and they fit really well. They go up over my calf very nicely. And how they work is there is a little rechargeable battery, a little pack in here. And I'll just open this up for you real quick. It connects via wire. Let me pull it out just so you can see what's going on. So this little pack in here and this charges up within four hours. They give you a little charging cable with uh, two plugs here to plug into each one. You take them out of the sock, charge them up. And this is going to give you up to seven hours of heat on your feet um, on the low setting. So what you can do here, and how I like to wear them is I have an athletic sock underneath, uh, my base layer, under armor base layer, cold gear, and then I pull these on up over top, and then I put a thicker sock on top of them just to keep the heat locked in. So that's how I use them. And most of the heat elements are right up here in the toes, right? So most of them are on top here in the toes, a little bit underneath, and just a few more heating elements right up here into the top of the foot. Uh, and they actually worked really well on the low setting. They met my needs. I didn't need to turn on the high, but if you want to, you can long press this button. One's gonna be your low heat, which lasts seven hours, as I said. Blue is the medium heat. And if you're super cold, you go way, right up to high. And obviously, as you advance the heat, the, the life of the battery is gonna go down. So seven hours on the low setting was all I needed. I haven't had to use the higher settings yet, and this actually did work for me. Um, but this is gonna keep me out there in the woods longer because if I'm out there and I'm freezing cold, I'm either gonna be shivering and ruin any shot I have at a deer, or I'm just gonna to wanna to call it a day early and then perhaps miss out on some opportunities. So I really enjoy these snow deer socks. They've helped me out. They've helped me stay out there longer in my tree stand, waiting for that monster buck to come in. So snow deer heated, the upgraded version, uh, heated socks, definitely on my list uh, to keep your hunter out in the woods longer and to keep your feet nice and toasty. All right, so that brings us to deer calls. There's a couple calls I wanna show you. Uh, the first one here is the night and hail pack rack and I've used the bigger racks to rattle in deer and they were very effective they sounded great uh, but I wanted something a little more packable those bigger ones or even real antlers are kind of bulky and they stick out of your pack funny and I'm always worried about dropping them uh, so I picked up the night and hail pack rack and I was really impressed with how this condenses down and nests down collapses down into this little package which when you're done, you could just slip it in your pocket. You know, I have pockets in here on the side. I could just slip it right in the pocket and you're not making those big movements of moving and putting it away in your bag or whatever, right? So I really like this. And they've, they've upgraded this thing over the years. This isn't a new product by any means, but they've added some things on here, like these little ridges right in here on these nubs, uh, just to get a more authentic sound. And this stuff carries. I mean, I also like that there's a bungee on here. Uh, because, you know, if you dropped one, you're like 20 feet, 18 feet up in your stand, uh, <laughs> you're done rattling for the day. Uh, but I like that there's a bungee. But check this out. 
This is going to simulate bucks fighting and sparring uh, as they chase those does and they got their testosterone fully jacked up this time of year so they're just after each other. It's a really cool sound, nice crisp sound coming from this little package and uh, my dogs are barking because they like this sound obviously but uh, I really do like this little thing. Collapses back down. You can muffle the sound if you want by closing up on these little uh, openings. Or you can open it up and get that full effect. Those racks jacking each other up and locking in together. Nice crisp sound from that. So I really like this little product. Uh, the Night and Hail Pack Rack right here. Definitely on my list. Super compact size. Speaking of deer calls, we have the Illusion Systems extinguisher and I've used this very extinguisher for a number of years. This does come with a lanyard type rope system which you can kind of hang on your neck and just have it hanging out or hang it up somewhere. Uh, I've lost mine in the woods years ago so I just carry this around in my pocket. But the nice thing about this extinguisher call is if you could see here, you can have, this is actually three calls in one. So you have the buck call which this slider is going to slide all the way down. So all the way down is the, the buck call or in the mid range of that lower portion there is the buck call. Uh, you can slide it up to the doe call and then all the way up to the fawn call if you wish. So it's kind of nice if you change up your mind, you want to change up your game plan while you're up there, you can throw out a buck call, <coughs> little buck grunt. Uh, if you want to slide it up to doe, you do a doe bleat. <coughs> and if you want to go to the fawn call, you could do that as well. <coughs> Ma, you know, it's like that weird ma sound or whatever. So I take this with me every time I hunt. I do like the versatility of the Illusion Systems extinguisher. So I use it every time I'm out there and it's held up really nicely over the years. Definitely on the list for my deer calls. <laughs> so that brings us to kind of a hunting knife or processing knife. So I really like the Outdoor Edge uh, EDC knife here and there's a number of reasons so this knife first of all is super sharp right um, it's got that blaze orange color on it so if you drop this in the leaves you drop this in the woods you're gonna be able to spot this thing no problem and I've lost a knife in the woods a time or two I've lost other things I lost my lanyard thing I just talked about so this stuff happens but having this in the leaves you're gonna see it and you're gonna retrieve it um, and that's really nice so that's the first thing uh, the second thing here I really like about this is I'm a super busy guy so I don't really have time or the desire to sharpen my blades, right? So what's really nice about the Razor Light EDC from Outdoor Edge is you just press this little button right here. You depress this button and you slide out your blade and you replace it with a brand new, new one and it is super sharp. So I really like that. It's very convenient. You slap one in there and you're off. It takes you literally two seconds. Uh, so each one comes with a few blades, four or five, six blades, something like that. And they're very convenient and they're very sharp and they're very useful. This is the EDC. They also sell a variety of other ones. Like this one here comes in a pouch. I have the pouch somewhere, but it comes in a pouch. You can put on your belt loop and put your extra blades in there as well. So the Outdoor Edge uh, Razor Light EDC is definitely my go-to knife uh, when I'm out there and if I have to field dress a buck or a doe. So that brings us to our last item, which always cracks me up. This is the Butt Out 2.0 and if you've ever field dressed a deer or gutted a deer out there, uh, you get to a point where it's, it's a very undesirable job dealing with a certain area of the animal. Uh, it's very not pleasant at all. And it's kind of tricky to work around and you got to kind of, you know, maneuver things and it's very awkward and there's a very high probability that you might mess it up and that's really gross. Just being honest, guys, right? So, so I got the butt out 2.0. And this is going to work on, you know, deer, hogs, antelope, and bear. So a lot of large game you could use this on. The 2.0 has extra length, so you can get in there a little bit better. And it removes the guesswork. Let me open this up. So all you're going to do, guys, this is it right here, the butt out 2.0. Uh, you can imagine what you do with this thing, but you insert it, and then you just pull out the stuff, and you're good to go. Uh, nice and easy, nice and clean. 
much easier to deal with than the old fashioned way, all right? And if nothing else, this is a great conversation piece, but it's a very cheap item and, you know, great stocking stuff or whatever, right? So, so there it is, the butt out 2.0. So guys, those are my top seven gifts for hunters. I uh, hope you enjoyed the list. As always, the links to all these items we talked about are going to be in the description below. If you guys could hook me up and hit subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for hanging out, and we'll see you on the next one.